Paddling TV is brought to you by Suspense Kayak and Canoe Storage Racks. Designed to protect your kayaks and canoes and keep them looking like new. Check out our two kayak freestanding rack for either indoor or outdoor use at suspense.com. In addition to choosing the right kayak, it's important to find the right gear. Most manufacturers are now making gear designed specifically for women, so be sure that you explore those options. Gear specifically for women can really make a big difference for comfort and for safety. Your life jacket is your most important piece of safety gear, since it'll float you if you tip over and fall out of your kayak. A proper life jacket will have good flotation, it will fit properly, and it'll be comfortable. Look for a life jacket that's Coast Guard approved to ensure that it meets high safety standards. You'll want a life jacket that's specifically designed for paddling. It'll have less bulk around the shoulders and has bigger armholes for a full range of motion. It's also shorter in the torso so that it's comfortable when you're sitting in your kayak. Paddling life jackets even have a cool pocket that's handy for storing lip balm and sunscreen. As female kayakers, we're also looking for paddling life jackets specifically designed for women. Companies like Kokatat have been making life jackets for women for years. Designs for women usually have split paneling on the front of the jacket so that the PFD wraps around the front of the body, keeping the bust securely in place and feeling less bulky. A good women's jacket will also be a little shorter in the torso area. On the water, make sure that your life jacket is properly done up at all times, even when paddling in flat water. If your life jacket isn't done up, or if you have it sitting in the boat at your feet, it won't do you any good if you end up swimming. In fact, a poorly worn life jacket can hinder your ability to swim to shore. To fit your life jacket, you'll want to cinch it down so that it feels snug. Pull up on the shoulder straps to make sure that the life jacket doesn't move up and fits securely around the body. You don't want your PFD to slip off in the water. Choosing a paddle that feels good and performs well has gotten easier since designs are now being made with women in mind. A paddle has two blades and a shaft. The curved surface of the blades is called the power face. Paddle manufacturers are now making paddles with small shafts that make it easier for people with small hands to use. Besides shaft size, you'll also want to consider length of paddle and blade size. Most paddles are between 7 and 8 feet. Smaller paddlers will find a short paddle with smaller blades easier to use, while bigger, stronger paddlers can use a longer paddle with larger blades. If you're going out on short trips, then the weight of your paddle doesn't matter so much, and you can use a less expensive paddle. If you start going out on longer day trips or multi-day trips, then you'll probably want to make it easier on your shoulders and invest in a lightweight paddle. The last important feature to consider when buying a paddle is the offset or feather of the blades. The offset or feather is the angle at which each blade is set relative to the other. Offsets range from 90 degrees to no offset at all. A large offset allows the top blade to slice through the air on windy days, while no offset feels more natural when first learning to kayak. Certain Aquabound paddles have a fantastic feature that allows you to adjust the feather to exactly what you want. In the end, choosing a paddle depends on personal preference. Be sure that it fits your needs and consider a paddle with a small shaft because it's easier and more comfortable to grip. Spray skirts are made of nylon or neoprene and are designed to keep water out of your sit-inside kayak. They can also be used for sun and wind protection for your legs. If you're just using the skirt for sun and wind protection, a nylon skirt will work fine. It's a good idea to have a pair of water sandals for kayaking so that you don't worry about getting your shoes wet and you have protection for your feet. Sandals will protect your feet both inside the kayak and when walking along the shoreline carrying your boat to and from the water. Be sure to find a pair of shoes that strap onto your feet at the heel 
so that they won't come off in the water when you need to swim. You'll also want a sturdy pair of sandals that have a nice thick sole and that don't slip on wet rocks. If you feel like you'd rather be barefoot in your kayak, then pack your sandals with you so that you have them ready when you get out of the water. There are some very functional and stylish women's sandals on the market, so you have a lot of choice. If you're paddling in cold weather, then a pair of fleece or wool socks worn with your sandals will keep your feet nice and warm. If you live in a warm part of the world or plan on doing the majority of your paddling during the hot summer months, then dressing for kayaking is quite easy. You can kayak in your bathing suit or bikini with a good pair of water shorts to protect from chafing. For sun protection, wear a lightweight long sleeve, quick drying shirt that will also keep you cool. Dressing for cold water paddling requires more layers and you'll want to make sure that you have layers that are made of synthetic materials and not cotton. Synthetic materials include polypropylene and fleece, just to name a few. You can wear these layers under nylon paddling jackets and nylon paddling pants. It's very important to protect yourself from the wind, especially if you're getting wet. Paddling jackets do a great job of sheltering the body from wind. A neoprene wetsuit vest or Farmer John can be worn in combination with synthetic layers for extra warmth. It's important to remember that you have to dress for the water temperature as well as the temperature outside. It may be really hot outside, but if the water is cold, then you'll want some extra layers. If you fall out of your kayak into cold water, but you're not properly dressed, you can succumb to hypothermia relatively quickly. It can take some time to climb back in your boat, especially sit inside kayaks. So you want to be dressed to spend some time in the water. Don't forget to check the weather before you head out. It's much better to be too hot and have to take layers off than to not have any layers to put on when you get cold. When you're out on the water, you not only need to protect yourself from the sun's direct rays, but also from the rays that are reflected off the water. Using a good waterproof sunscreen is important. Your local pharmacy will have a wide variety of waterproof sunscreen or you can also buy more expensive sunscreen that's made for outdoor activities and keeps your skin protected and moisturized. A good sun hat and sunglasses are also very important. Be sure that you get a strap for your sunglasses so that they aren't lost if you go for a swim. As I mentioned before, you can also wear a thin base layer to protect your arms and shoulders from the sun.